Hello crafty friends, my name's Alicia but you can call me Crafty Owl and welcome to my stop at the 4 at 4k giveaway hop. I hope you'll stick around, find out who we're celebrating, see what I'm going to create and find out how you can get entered to win lots of great prizes. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Recently, four of my crafty friends reached 4,000 subscribers on their YouTube channel, and we are gonna be celebrating them. It is Kendra of Cards by Kendra, Lynn of LV Handcrafted, Amanda of Pear Blossom Press, and Sierra of Sierra Tea Designs. For today's hop, we were challenged with using each of their favorite colors and just creating any project that we wanted. Well, I decided since I just got the new Word Party Create and Quads from Tailored Expressions and that it needs four colors to be completed, that I would use their four favorites and make four quick and easy cards. Now, as I'm getting into the process, I will let you know more about the giveaway and more about any products and tools that I bring in. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! Create and Quads are four stencils that you layer together so you can cut apart and get four quick cards. The stencils themselves are eight and a half by 11, but if you want to pre-cut down your white cardstock, there is also an etched line on the stencil. For me, I just go ahead and leave it at eight and a half by 11. I like to work on some grid paper so any ink that falls off the edges just goes on there. And I tape down my piece of white cardstock placing the tape where I know that it won't be any stenciling on later. Then I bring in the stencils and they are numbered one through four and usually you don't have to go in any certain order, but I am gonna go ahead and follow those numbers. So I'm gonna tape down number one using some painter's tape and I just line it up with the corners of the cardstock. For the first stencil, I'm going to be using Granny Smith ink from Tailored Expressions, and this green is Amanda from Pear Blossom Press's favorite color. Now the stenciling is just like any other. You'll use your brush and you just stencil until you like the shade that you're getting in each open section. And then when it's all done, you just remove that and we'll bring in stencil number two and the next color. The next color is Gina K Designs Peach Bellini, and this is Kendra's favorite color. Each of the stencils does have some alignment squares that if you color those in, it's going to help you place the remaining stencils. You can try to fit it again to your full sheet of cardstock, but sometimes it needs to be adjusted just a little bit. So as I continue stenciling and changing out the colors, I thought I would tell you some more about this hop and giveaway. As I mentioned earlier, this hop is celebrating Lynn, Amanda, Kendra and Sierra reaching 4,000 subscribers on their YouTube channel and they are going to be over $200 in prizes. Now you will have until August 5th to hop around to each of the videos. Make sure to give them a thumbs up, leave them some love in the comments, and if you're inspired to do so, go ahead and hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber of their channel. Then you're going to fill out the form that is linked in my description box and everybody else's to get entered to win. On August 10th, the four ladies who are celebrating and anybody else who is doing giveaways along the hop will be announcing the winners on their channels. I'm super excited for each of my crafty friends who've reached this huge milestone, and I'm also excited to see what everyone else on the hop has created. There are 14 of us helping them celebrate. So I hope as I hop along that I recognize some familiar faces in those comments. Happy hopping and good luck in the giveaway. 
Now it's time for my favorite part of stenciling, the reveal. I think that their four favorite colors went together beautifully on this piece. Since I did use a full sheet of 8.5 by 11 to get my four card fronts, I first have to cut a quarter inch off all the outside edges and then cut the piece in quarters at four by five and a quarter. And you'll see here I have four quick and easy card fronts. Now you could definitely leave these as is and put them on card bases and you have super fun cards, but we're going to jazz them up just a little bit. For the two portrait cards, since they didn't have any stenciled confetti, I thought it would be fun to turn these into shakers. And we're going to be doing a little infinity shaker where the window is all the way to the edge. Now for mine, I'm going to use some clear Duralar in 3mm and I cut two pieces that were 6 and a quarter inches tall by 5 inches wide. That is just 1 inch bigger on each of the dimensions. Once my shaker window pieces are cut, I place my stenciled piece face down in the center of it, and then using just my fingers and my fingernails to get a nice crease, I fold up the edges around the back side of that. Now once that's folded, I unfold it, and then I have the corners that I need to cut off just to reduce the bulk on the back. Once that is done, I'm going to place my stencil piece back in there, once again face down, and I adhere three of the edges. Now you'll want to make sure you use a nice strong adhesive with this so your shaker card doesn't come apart. I'm going to do the same exact thing with the second card. For my shaker bits, I chose three colors of diamond dots. One to kind of match the blue, green, and peach on my card because I will be using purple later for the card base. I'm just going to mix some of these up in my little tray, putting a little of each color, and then pour half into each of the cards. I kind of shake it up, make sure the amount looks good, and then I flatten those out and I adhere that final side. Once again, make sure you're using some strong adhesive. Off camera, I prepared two card bases, each with a piece of white cardstock on the inside so you could easily see a personal message. Then I added adhesive to the back of each of the shakers, and I did add more adhesive than I normally do for a card front, just once again to keep that adhered down nicely so we don't lose all those diamond dots. I prepared a couple card bases for my final two cards, and for these I'm just going to adhere my stenciled pieces flat down centered on the card front. Now I did want to add a little bit of sparkle or a little bit of bling, so I brought in some pearl mixes from Cat Scrappiness, trying to match the colors on the cards as best as possible, and I added a few scattered on the fronts. Off camera I did do another step and that was I brought back in the stencil that I used the purple ink on and I kind of cleaned off my purple blending brush on the inside of each card and added a little confetti to the bottom. I just like the little added decoration this gives. Here's a close up look now at all of the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created these four fun cards in celebration of my crafty friends. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to go visit the next person in the hop. Their link is at the very top of the description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.